This is 42 Botanic Drive in Pakenham and Lakeside. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm looking like that, this is uh, something you're gonna start seeing a lot more of, especially during inspections and appointments and everything like that. Just guys, this is just for caution, obviously, because, well, I think everyone's well aware of what the current situation is. Uh, but anyway, I'll take it off when we're inside. Um, now, over here, we have probably one of the best locations that we can be in. So we're in Lakeside in Pakenham. Uh, this property specifically sitting on a 678 square meter block, it is a monster block. Now the street itself, actually one of the original st streets in Lakeside, so you've actually got all the original X displays here. So you are literally surrounded by some of the best homes in the area. Uh, the property behind me is uh, Porter Davis home, four bed, two bath, double garage. Let's actually go check out what it looks like after what the owner's done to it. Um, because just recently, We've had it repainted, staged, uh, landscaped, as you can see here as well. So there's been a few things done to it. So let's actually go check that out. So guys, now we're inside the property. Now the reason that we're actually doing quite a bit of longer videos these days is uh, you must have heard by now, but all the open homes have been uh, canceled. Uh, so we can't do open homes, uh, can't do on-site auctions anymore, anything as such. So that's why recently and moving forward, we're actually going to be doing a lot longer videos just to do complete walkthroughs of the property. So that way, if you're at home and you obviously can't make it to an inspection, you can still stay at home and actually go through the property via video. So it's going to be pretty handy. So let's start off. So like I said before, this is a, a Porter Davis home. It's a four bed, two bath, double garage. Now, as one of the lakeside regulations in Pakenham, you have to have nine foot ceiling. So this property has obviously got nine foot ceiling as well. So we'll get you into the master bedroom here. Now the property's recently been staged as well. So it looks almost like a display home. Um, this is the master bedroom, very good size. You obviously got a fair bit of space around it as well. And over here we have a full walk-in robe. Um, sorry, a full walk-in robe, it's a full ensuite. <laughs> and a walk-in robe, all right. Now the ensuite, we have oversized shower and we've got double vanities as well. And everything in it is, uh, it's, it's fairly upgraded as well. So we're not getting anything that's quite stock standard as you're probably gonna see through the rest of the house. So let's go into this part. Over here, we've got the garage. The garage is a garage. Unless you actually really wanna see it, we can show you that too. <laughs> so this is the garage, guys. Now we've got internal and external access through it. As we go through, this is probably one of the best parts of the property. So here you've got an open plan kitchen, stone bench tops, a stainless steel oven. You've actually got a dishwasher in here as well. It's glass splashback. And you've got a nice big family living area and a huge dining area here. I mean, this is a pretty big dining table and you can even fit a bigger one in there as well. The great thing about it, the house gets quite a bit of light from that side as well, so sunlight, which is pretty nice, you know, you get some vitamins in you. Um, over here, we've got the second living area as well. So again, because of the stage, it looks amazing. Now, you've got floorboards pretty much most of the way through the living areas, um, as well as carpets on all the other bedrooms also. The property was built in 2008, so it's still, you know, a relatively new home. Um, in fairly good condition. Now over here we have got bedroom number two. So I'll get Andy to actually go get a quick snippet of that. I will go through the rest of the house in a sec. Okay, social distancing mate, social distancing. Okay, just back off. <laughs> okay, anyway. So over here we've got bedroom number three. Now all the bedrooms have uh, built-in ropes in them as well. And we have the second bathroom in here as well. You can go through it. <laughs> He's worried you're going to see him in the mirror. <laughs> oh, I just closed the laundry in here, mate. Yeah. Um, and so you even still got painter's tape on it. So it's freshly painted. All right. And here you've got bedroom number four. They're all fairly good sized bedrooms. Uh, like I said, this house is actually stacked with quite a lot of stuff. But let's have a quick look outside because that's probably one of the best things about it is its land size. So I'm gonna make a run for it. I don't know if you can run after me, but let's go. <laughs> so 
over here. Now, the garden is a fair bit of a blank canvas at the moment, but the great thing about it, you do have the land size that you can play with. So like I was saying, it's a 678 square meter block. It is a big block. So over here, you've actually got the owners just put in a new side gate. So if you want to get, you know, boats, caravans, trailers in, anything like that, you've certainly got more than enough space to do it. You can even potentially create another driveway here. You've got more than enough space to build whatever you want to build. Maybe not a unit, but like if you want to put a pool, potentially an outdoor area, um, a big shed, anything like that, you've got more than enough space to do it, guys. Um, obviously subject to council approval, so. But yeah, it, like I said, it's, it's a bit of a blank canvas at the moment, which is quite good. Now, if you do want to look at it, obviously because we're not going to be running open homes at this point, um, give me a call and we can, at least for the moment, we can organize private inspections for you. It's 0401 053 553, or you can just PM us on Facebook, either way. Thanks guys.